Okay then guys, welcome back to the uh, another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we have the iPad in front of us and the topic for today is how to use Safari Reader Mode on your iPad. But the same thing applies to the iPhone, of course. Naturally, what you have to do is to open up the uh, Safari on your iPad like this. As you can see, I have this very minimal look where nothing distracts me. I absolutely love this view. But let me just open up like a random page. Let's say it's going to be the Apple support. So I'm going to type in Apple support and there is like a page which i browsed in the past regarding the uh, liquid detection and as i am right here you can see this is what it looks like but to get to the reader view what you have to do is to type in on the aa button in the upper right corner it is right here you can see it is right there in the search bar so go ahead and click on that and literally the first option is show the reader so when i click on that it moves over to a reader view which basically looks much cleaner the images are still there so it's very useful and the um, there are no there are not going to be any ads or anything standing in the way so it's very useful to do that and to basically get out of that you can just tap on it again and hide reader but you can also customize it to a degree at least because you can of course listen to page which is very useful as well you can hide the reader or you can even change the font so if you prefer to read in a different font, you can go ahead and do that as well. So if you come back, you can also choose the background. For example, if you want the white one, it's up to you to decide. But yeah, basically, these are the settings. When it comes to website settings, there is the button for it as well. But there isn't much which you could customize in here. You can just decide which sites have access to your location camera but this does not affect the reader mode so this is basically how it works but one more option is to use the reader automatically as you can see it is while viewing support.apple.com so in case you for example know that you always use this website that you always read from it let's say it's going to be like a blog or something then you perhaps may want to use the reader mode automatically so it just gets triggered without you even pressing anything so yeah this is how you can use the reader mode on your ipad using safari hope you found this video useful if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll catch you in the next video in the future peace out until then